Power 106, LA's number one for hip hop. And man, oh man, does it feel good to say welcome to Andy El Destroyer, the Destroyer Ruiz, checking in with me. What up, Andy? What's up, man? Thank you, man. <laughs> and it's a pleasure to be here in Power 106. Look, Andy, it is so exciting. Just to, It's coming down Labor Day weekend. You are fighting Luis King Kong Ortiz. It's going to be great because low-key already, your, your nicknames, it feels like a heavyweight fight. You don't get nicknames like King Kong and El Destroyer for no reason, you know? Yeah. I can't. I know that everyone set up for Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles for you guys to come and fight and set it off. And that's what's going to happen Sunday, September 4th. We're all going to be watching. We're all going to be there. But let me know just what you have planned for L.A. You know so many people are your fans out here. We were just talking off, off camera about how we know that people are going to show up for you, Andy. We're going to show up like no other when you fight Crypto.com. Thank you, man. And the main thing is just to show up and show out, man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, give everything out for the for the Raza, for my Mexican people. You know, I don't want to let them down. Yeah. So this is exactly why we've been training so hard and putting all the hard work inside the gym. And once comes September 4th, now it's time to have fun, you know, and throw these fireworks. And I know both of us want uh, want to become champions. Yep. And, um, you know, he wants to become champion um, of his own. And but I'm ready for whatever he comes. Yeah, no, we already know that. And we know we're like going to be set up for a show. I want to tell you this. Um, one night, the docu the docu the documentary with your fight versus Joshua, that first fight where you had t like, I think it's Tyson, it's Holyfield. It's so many boxers and legends just dissecting your fight, that fight that you had round like the with Joshua. It inspires me. Like, I watch that, and I have people come over, and we just play it, like, one day when we need inspiration, we play that oh, okay. for so many reasons. But the most is for you and how you came so humble and how you turned up. That's what I love about your personality. We are in boxing, where it's dog-eat-dog, dog, where it's I'm going to cut your head off, where it's all of that first. You come in with a more humble approach, and then you show them in the ring. You know, is that intentional, The your personality going I into the ring? I think that's just how I was brought up, you know. I'm I'm a nice guy outside of the ring, but in, inside of the ring, um, you know, we got, all of us, we got to put that switch on and, and get to work, you know, because at the end of the day, they're trying to kick our ass. I'm trying to kick their ass, and um, it's like a war in there. So, like I said, outside of the ring, we're friends. We're, hey, how you doing? Good job, blah, blah, blah. But when, when, we're, when we're inside that ring, it's like a, a switch. Like, we're not friends. We're enemies, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, but outside of the ring, shit, we could go and have fun, go to the movies, whatever. <laughs> Damn, that's <laughs> wild. I, I, it's crazy to me how you can turn it on and off because Loki, when I'm trying to fight someone, it's on site and it's forever. <laughs> but <laughs> I do see, you know, I have a lot of homies that I'm sure you get this a lot. You're out, your people come up to you, they want to take a picture with you. But then they always also ask you like, hey, can I spar with you? I have a friend that is dead set on fighting you. And I'm like, I don't understand why guys think like, hey, that's a fighter. I could take him. I'm like, you're you're a fight. Like, you're not a regular person that can fight. You know, you're a trained professional. Do you find a lot of people come up, up to you and like just try to uh, challenge yeah, you in that times, aspect? Um, but you know everybody has a has a plan or, or how they think it's gonna happen until they get inside that ring but when you go inside that ring it's a whole different whole different scene and a whole different level but um but no you just gotta appreciate those people because either way they're gonna be fans or either way they're gonna be supporting you even though they think that they could kick your ass they're still gonna be out there and watching you and be like oh he's gonna win but i still think i could beat his ass or something <laughs> It's like my cousins can fight for 12 seconds, not for 12 rounds. Look, you cannot take on Andy Ruiz. No, but speaking of the 12 rounds, I was watching your guys' uh, press conference. You and Luis both said it's not going to go all the way to 12 rounds. How confident are you that it hits before? I've been training so hard that for me, I don't go out and look for the knockout. You know, the knockout comes naturally. It comes whenever it comes. When you go out there and try to look for the knockout, you kind of end up making mistakes. You kind of open up. Um, 
But, uh, but me, I'm just going to stay calm, stay composure, and wait until the time comes, you know? I'm The main thing is I'm ready to go all the 12 rounds. I'm ready, um, If it goes a knockout, it goes a knockout. But if it goes all the 12 rounds, I got the condition and the stamina to go all those rounds. So the main thing in my mind is just winning, not just knocking them out. You've been fighting since you were six, Andy, and I know that for you it comes with, like, you know, this is this is the, the risk and the reward part of it, but I know you have a little one, too. You have a son that you actually set up a bench at your gym so that uh, he could start working out. Is that something that you want to see for, for your yeah, kids, too? Yeah, they want to, you know, but I tell them, I, I son, I fight so you don't have to fight, you know? I'm, I'm trying to be the provider. I'm trying to be the guy that that could lead you to other different um, educations or other sports. I don't want them to get hit, but I do want them to work out. I do want them to take care of themselves because I don't want them to be a gordito like how I was my whole life, you know? So I want them to be in shape. I want them to take care of themselves. So me not having that discipline when I was young, um, I want to bring that to my kids and my children just so they could take care of themselves and, you know, not go through what I went through of being bullied and being in, in school and all that. Yeah, the discipline part. Man, that's so important. By the way, we love the gordito Andy, okay? Whatever Andy you give us, we're going to root for you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Look, Andy, I, I saw that at your gym. You have a photo of this glove. And this glove, you used it like a vision board. Can you tell me more about this particular yeah, glove? So I believe you got it at short, church. Um, I was training in Las Vegas, and this was like five years ago, and I had my friend, um, he's my trainer as well, an advisor, his name is Jorge Capatio, and we were, he started taking me to church, and that's when I started believing, I started having faith, and he told me, you know what, here's this glove, and I was like, well, like, I have like a lot of gloves, what do I need this one, he's like, no, Andy, write down everything that you want, all your wishes, and I was like, all right, so I started writing down all the belts, the WBC, WBA, blah, 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 all of them. Um, and I gave it back to them. And and actually on the bottom, I said to become the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world. And yes, and I gave it to him. And I guess the church and we, we would have Bible studies like every Sundays, Thursdays, and we kept praying and praying for that wish. And it didn't take a few months. It didn't take one year. It took four years to to accomplish those dreams. And thanks for all the people at that church in Las Vegas and everybody supporting me, praying for me, especially me, you know, because everybody has to have faith and everybody has to believe in them and themselves. So I kept praying and praying. And what do you know? All that all that thing that I put on the glove came true, except for one belt. And that's the WBC. And that's the belt that I'm aiming for. That's next. Oh, I love that about you, Andy. I love the faith that you have. And, you know, I when you won all of your belts and you posted on Instagram, you also posted it with the Grinding All My Life lyrics from Nipsey Hussle. And that is a post that I remember and I know it had to be intentional because this is there's a reason why you put his music with this win. Can you talk to me a little yeah. bit more about your uh, your love for Nip? Before I got the fight against Anthony Joshua, I I was on camp fighting Alexander Dimitrenko before the Joshua fight, and um, I was listening to him like almost every single day, going to the gym, at the gym, when I was running, everything. He he just inspired me so much, and when I and then when they killed him, I was so mad. I started crying. Um, me and my and my my fighter Garnica, we we were both all upset because we were listening to him so much. He inspired me a lot, like a lot of motivation and wanting more um, for me and for my family. And um, but yeah, when once he passed away, and um, I just started listening to him, listening to him even more and more. And I was like, you know what? I don't know if the Mexican people got mad because I came out to him at the press conference. I came out to him. And then um, at the fight, I came out to his music too. And it was just something that I needed. I needed it in my heart because it's something that I was listening to and that he inspired me a lot. So, you know, shout out to Nipsey Hussle and all his family. Of course. And man, no, we love us some Nip out here too. And I know that when you when you won, it was 2019. It was just a few months after Nip had passed away. So I already know that the spirit was with you and I knew why you played the song and it was just it just felt good to see you win after that and I know he would have had respect for that I know he would have loved to see that 
to him having have had inspired someone like you become the first Mexican heavyweight in history. And I know it doesn't stop there, Andy, because this is just the beginning of what we're seeing from you. You know, Luis Ortiz is next, but he is not the last. I know that Fury might be up in the cards. Wilder, maybe if he'd come back from retirement. I do want to talk to you about Fury, though, because, you know, we like our characters. We like our personalities. And that guy already off of personality is entertaining but also intimidating how do you stay from getting intimidated by these competitors or these challengers we all bleed the same we all eat the same um me and him um we went to i went to his room long story short he's a nice guy dude um all that i think it's all entertainment and but he still he has a lot of faith he believes in jesus christ and that's exactly why i um, have a lot of respect for him because you know, it, it takes a lot to to have faith and not be scared, you know. And um, long story short, I was in Las Vegas. Jorge Capatios put us together. We were inside his hotel room. And we we had, like, Bible studies together. And, you know, he, he he's a good guy, man. He's a really good guy. I, um, I like him, man. But, like I said, he has one of the bouts that I'm missing and that I want. <laughs> and, um, you know, it, it'll be a blessing to to have a fight against him. Oh, man, I can't wait. I can't wait to watch all that goes down Sunday, September 4th. It's going down. Andy Ruiz is taking on Luis Ortiz. And, you know, the undercard, I am so excited. I'm so excited for Isaac Pitbull Cruz. And I would like your thoughts on just seeing him. I know that fight that he had against Tank was his proving grounds. Coming from someone who also proved themselves in the ring, maybe other people didn't know who you were, but when you fought Joshua, you put everybody on notice. I think Isaac, although he didn't win the decision for Tank, did the same thing. What were your thoughts on his fight and just on him as a fighter? He's a nice, humble guy. He's chill. He doesn't have a crazy attitude. Um, he, like how Tank said, a, a new star was born, and that's exactly what was coming his way, you know? As long as he keeps pursuing that and he becomes champion, he's going to be a star. A lot of people love him because of the way that his style, He's he has that Mexican style, come forward and try to knock people out. And it's going to be an amazing card. We got Abner Mars as well. We got um, Cruz. We got me. We got other other good opponents that are that are coming up. So I appreciate everybody that is going out there and risking their lives because at the end of the day, we're just trying to feed our loved ones. It's such a pleasure talking to you, Andy, and I can't wait to see you in the ring. AXS.com, if you want to get your tickets, you should get your tickets, especially if you're in L.A. Dude, when I saw you go to Mexico, and, and it, was, it was talking to the Mexican president, right? Yeah. That was incredible because not only do you mean something to us in the United States, it is it is there's no other uh, sports besides soccer that we love as much as we love boxing, you know, and to see you take those those wins, we all win, Andy. It's all yeah, it's, well, it's a win it wasn't for us for all. You guys, I feel like I wouldn't be here, you know, and having a lot of support, having a lot of um, people backing you up. And I know we got haters as well, but either way, they're still right there uh, supporting and rooting for us, even if they want us to win or not want us to win. But they're still watching. And you know, there's a lot of, how can I say, there's a lot of uh, people are depending on me. So that's why... I got to go hard, man. I got to go hard. And you are going to go hard, and we're going to be there for it. Make sure you hit up AXS.com to get your tickets. It's going down Labor Day weekend. Andy Ruiz taking on Luis Ortiz. Thank you so much, Andy, for checking in with us. And we hope to see you soon. We're going to pull up yeah, to all your media it. events out you here, okay? Over here. I'm going to pull up over there with you guys. But thank you to Power 106, man. Appreciate you guys. Of course. Keep it here. It's the all-new Power Mornings on Power 106.